are you getting 500 status code on your website either it will be 500 502 97 then you are in the right video so in this video we are going to explore how to fix and audit your website for the 500 status code and follow this method which i have described in this video and you will be good to go so hey guys my name is Robin and welcome to web digital channel and in this video we are going to talk about 500 status code which you may have incurred on your website like here i have audited my website but it has passed the 500 status code so 500 status code you should give emphasis because it is something which google actually hated because it is coming from the server side so we will talk about the what it is and how you can actually fix that and the types of 500 errors you may have incurred on your website and much more in this video so if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit that red button you will be amazed with the content we are going to upload in the coming months years and beyond that so let's get started so here if you haven't got the same rush yet yet then you should go ahead and get the subscription because it's the best tool out there if you are digital marketer or even if you are seo practitioner so you must be amazed by the data they give you the audit tool is actually the perfect you don't need to manually audit anything using seo spider or something like that so go to the description box get your trial and you will be amazed by the features it offers so that's things are passed so let's talk about the 500 errors so here is the 500 errors as you can see zero pages are written 500 errors, but you may have got this error that's why you are on this video right so what you are going to do is before jumping on the solution let me tell you what is 500 error so 500 status code or it will be 5xx status code 5xx means there are different types of 500 status code it comes from the server side so server might not be able to handle that request or there's something missing on your code that server cannot retrieve from it and there's something is not implemented on the servers yet the url you are browsing first is 500 internal server error so internal server error is something which comes because of incomplete configuration of your script and the server yes so you may have request something like let me tell you give you example you may be browsing webby.com and it will give you server internal server error what that mean is there's some file that or there's some code configuration there is incomplete configuration between the html you are watching right now and with the server so that's about the 500 internal server error and next is the most common is 502 which is a bad gateway it gives you that error when server got overloaded so you have to check the server audit your server and if you don't manage your server then go to your hosting provider and tell them you're getting this particular error and it will get resolved but there may be a more reason to it which we will cover in the upcoming minutes so third is 503 service unavailable so it's a server side again but there is something that is not available like if you are using a web apache on your server or if you're using some plugins like php or something there is something that is not working on that part so if you are a dedicated server then you should start auditing your server like if it's correctly configured or not all the plugins that require to run your script is there or not and the next is 504 gateway timeout so that incurs when your server is pretty slow so you have to upgrade your server generally it gives when your server is pretty slow and not able to handle all the requests so that's where you need to upgrade your server okay maybe your script demand more resources from the server and it's not giving that so you have to rectify in that particular area and two more there is there will be a 507 which is insufficient storage so you have to upgrade your storage and add more ssds or hdds to your server and request them to add more space to your server and you will be good to go and last is not the least 509 which is in bandwidth limit exceeded yes so you may have a bandwidth limited on your server you have to go to your hosting provider and upgrade your services or you should start shifting to the vps or something which has unlimited bandwidth out there so you should start optimizing for that so now going to the fix okay so if you have a wordpress then you should start auditing what you have done recently yes so for example you may have added a plugin you may have it may have added the theme so you have to start auditing your wordpress website so let's go to the development blog here before jumping onto the any solution first you must identify which error you may have got so if you use uh, same rush then you may have got these are the errors that may be incurring and if you open that you will find every detail about that particular error so I have listed out these four or five errors which is 
pretty common if you it is not there you should follow the link in the description box where all the status codes are are out there so you should find that and find a solution related to it because you may be using a uh, wordpress or maybe using a non wordpress website with the custom script using react or php or other js libraries out there so you may be using that so for that particular reason you need to check that out okay and for the wordpress part this not much to do in the wordpress if your wordpress was running pretty okay then you should start auditing what you have done recently yes what bad things you have done recently and for that part is if you have installed some plugin just deactivate that and check that if you have installed some uh, appearance or uh, if you have installed some themes or some functionality you will be working on the back end you should start neglecting that or restore your backup yes so if you something has gone wrong and there may be a backup out there that was working fine way before so you should start downloading it and do the backup of your or restore the backup of your wordpress website so i've already done how to restore the backup so how if you don't have any backup then you should pray to the god that <laughs> you can actually rectify such stuff out there so you need to rebuild that wordpress theme or maybe if you're using a shared hosting then you may have backup somewhere with the shared hosting just contact that shared hosting provider and you will be good to so it's hard to identify the issue because 500 error is from the server side so many server out there have their own configuration many script have their own configuration so it's very hard to define that but i will give you the overview to understand these particular errors so that you can actually apply that on your website so for the wordpress well i suggest you to do either recover your backup okay restore your backup if you have already so if you do the backups then you should start if you don't know about the backups as a whole that you should start watching the video which is the link in the description box from where you will start backing up your website because that's actually pretty important so other thing is deactivate plugins so go to the install plugin and deactivate some plugins like some plugins you may have installed recently some plugin you have updated recently so you should start deactivating that whatever you have done recently just recall that out and start deactivating it and then check your website then if it's working or not same goes to the themes so themes if something is not working then just deactivate that and add another to see if it's working or not so if this whole methods are resolved the issue then it's fine if it's not don't worry just keep watching the video because we i have pointed out some methods which you can actually apply that on your website so now going forward to non wordpress website and for that part first thing you can do is check your web server's configuration so what is web server's configuration is check your htaccess file or nginx if you use nginx then you should start checking your nginx configuration file so uh, what is apache configuration file if you go to your file manager like i am using a aa panel and if i go to the files here okay so there is a htaccess file so if something is wrong with your htaccess file then because htaccess is a web server file which is responsible to give request to the desired url you are be using there is something in incorrect in this particular file so you should start audit your htaccess file okay and the thing is i cannot provide anything about it because every script has its own set of data so you should start auditing your htaccess file if you don't already then if you are using some third party script then you should contact that particular script owners or even a developer then tell them what is wrong with the script and they will be able to help that out so if you are a developer then you may have something do, did something with the htaccess file then you should start auditing it and you will be good to go and same for the ngx user you have to go to the ngx configuration file and check that and you will be good to go so that's about it and the next thing you can do is check the permission if you're using php you need to check the permission of your folder so if i go to this web.com this is the root folder and here you can see the permission order so 755 is pretty good for to get your server accessible to the public okay and here as you can see there is a blog which permission has been sent to 755 if and to change that permission you need to go to either to filezilla or go to your cpanel's file manager the file manager i am using is from the aa panel so go to that panel and there will be set of uh, options available for you and if you click right click on it it will be the permission and there is a permission the owner should be read and write and the public should be read and execute they don't need to write that okay so for that part it should be read and execute and if i don't give 
permission for the public to read and execute if I apply the OK and if I go to the blog section here so it will be fine right but the thing is if I read and write or you know give the permission to this to the group execute nothing owner owners nothing okay if I click on OK and here it's forbidden so it's forbidden for everything so it says the 403 bidden for that means the permission is forbidden for the public to use so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the permissions again so there may be a error of uh, five zeros that may may be a internal server error which server cannot execute that request for you so what you need to do is just type the permission here should be 755 and click OK and just reload that and you will be good to go so check the permission of your files which URL is not accessible right now and check the permission is set to 755 it should be available to the public group and owner and now moving forward to the check your code yes now whichever file you are going to request from the server should be okay to deliver or render to you for example I am uh, I'm trying to browse like free PDF tools and if I go to there there is a file of PDF to TXT file right so it's right now working fine there's no issues but your URL may be not be working so what you need to do is go to that particular files PHP file or any JS file that belongs to that particular URL so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the theme and the NTS PDF to TXT file are this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that and check your code that it is working all right for your particular issue so if it's working everything is working right then you have no issues then there may be something that is not working properly so you have to audit for that particular reason but for now if something is broken from your script like in the code you need to check that out there is something that is not accessible or there's something code is not rendered properly there is something which you need to know and for that part what you can do is just copy this and there is just uh, example how you can actually fix that go to the VS code or any code editor you use just paste that code anywhere you want or any file you want so there is the problem so in the problem section you need to see this and start rectifying for your particular file so start rectifying it if, if you don't know anything about it obviously you need to go to your developer or ask anyone out from upwork or freelancer.com so they will be able to fix that so that's how you can easily check your code and fix the issues and re-upload that and check if your work files are working fine so now going to the next part is restore backup okay and you need to restore backup if you have applied all the steps which I've already discussed you need to restore that backup because this is something you have done or maybe on, on the course of period of time you have done there some error from the server side to your script there is something some misconfiguration out there and you need to check that on your backup and restore that backup and you will be good to go okay and for the backup part you must have known about it and how to restore that then this is a part of separate video but on the WordPress we have already done and for the separate video you must have automated backup generators out there so you should start downloading it and uploading it to your web server and that will be fine so that's about it and next is to check your log okay so you should start checking your log and to check your log there must be a log file somewhere where you can actually check your log and see if it's working everything fine so if I go to my script here or any script you use there must be a log so every developer every third party script you use there is a log file to see if something is working or not okay and so uh, if you want to ask me if I use the log and where is the log file there must be a log file in your admin section or a core section where all the critical files are out there so here is a core and there is a logs and there is a different type of logs data which is versus the error data crons log data and bulk upload failed something you will find all the data is here and you should start checking it and see if something is not working from there and start fixing that okay so that's all about the logging data check the log file and you will be able to fix your issue and retrieve your 500 status code and the next thing is check your server okay if your server is slow 
and something is not right about your server first thing you can do is go to your home and if you're using any panel out there you will see every information about your server as you, as you can see the ram is about 21.6 percent usage currently and cpu 6.4 and load status is only three percent so you may have 100 percent load status okay you may have ram being used 100 percent you may have bandwidth over the top so you need to fix that you need to upgrade your server and start using the server that can handle your website requests so you should start check your server bandwidth about the load issues and something like that you should start doing it so that's why i prefer to use cdn more and to reduce the load from the server to the third party services like cdn cloudflare so that's you can also implement on your website and the last is if nothing is happening and that particular page doesn't matter to you then you should and you can redirect that particular url and to redirect that we have already done in the previous part and to redirect that what you can do is go to your file section and there it depends which web server you use if you use ngx server then there is a different set of rule to apply and if you use apache server then different set of rules to apply and for WordPress part you can easily go to the regmat plugin and there is a redirections option there so if you don't use regmat plugin you should start using it because it's the best all in one seo plugin out there you should use seo plugin and there you should use the wp cache plugin and for the cache plugin i suggest you do wp rocket and for the seo regmat and you don't need any plugin except these two to skyrocket your seo issues and there is as you can see there is only one redirection here and you can start adding new direction one with the status code and destination url where the relevant new url out there so you need to paste that out and click on add redirection and you will be good to go so that's how you can easily do that and for the non virtual website you can use the, your htaccess file if you use htaccess server and you can just write this particular code which is redirect 301 and you will be good to go and for the ngx part we have already done the video about it you can find it link in the description box or you can google it how to add a redirection in ngx file you will find the answer or you will follow the link in the description box of the vlog where we have discussed that so that's about it that's how you can easily handle your 500 error so what you can do is if neither of these things work for you just follow the comment in the box and i will be able to help you yes i will be able to help with your code and just write the write the problem in the comment box and i will be able to help you out about the reason and how you can actually fix that or you can use stack overflow yeah just go to the stack overflow and there you can just sign up for it and start asking question about your error and you will be good to go and even if you don't want to with that just search for your error code like 500 internal server error and just first search for your answer and there is tons of questions already so i think 90 percent of your answer will become from there just search for your answer and type as much information as you want and you will find your answer and if you don't already just click on the ask question and you will be good to go there and if you don't want to wait that much then you can describe your situation in the description box and we will find a way to help you out so if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if you want to learn much more about technical issues digital marketing seo and designing then you should start subscribe to the channel we are going to upload a much more meaningful content in the future so see you in the next video until then bye bye